Okay, so we're going with something different. We're going to do a voiceover. So here you can see me applying just Dove soap to the glass. This is to stop the film from sticking and also prevent any static buildup. So we're using Global QDP5. I don't know why it's VLT 4% because it is QDP5, but it's a really good film. I really rate it. The customer has a dog, so we figure we'll put the back windows. So 900 mil on a 20 inch being cut for this V8500 back window. Just roughly cutting it to shape, leave myself some excess to work fingers. And then I'm heat shrinking it. So this, basically using a heat gun to form the film, the shape and the curvature of the glass. And then I'm going to trim it out to the shape of the dot matrix so that I can fit it on the inside. Here's me peeling off that, the excess and also the, the whole tint itself. There's me, hi. So giving the window a good scrub prior to fitting the film, this will allow it to adhere properly to the glass. I'm using my PPF squeegee actually. I mean, you can use it for tint as well, clearly, but uh, I bought it for PPF, but I like it for tint. I've, um, I've used it on every single car since I bought it, I really rate it. So I'm fitting the pre-shrunk, pre-cut film of the glass avoiding that boot trim as it is very fuzzy and carpety. Is that even a word, carpety? And just trying not to get any fibres behind the film as that would require a redo. So got in position, no light gaps, just gently squeegeeing out the first pass just to get the bulk of the solution gone. Following up with the Blue Max squeegee, this will really get the water out and just leave the trace amounts which have to evaporate naturally using quite a lot of pressure here. Quick spray of some Carchem glass cleaner and a good clean with a fresh microfiber cloth and also wipe the surrounding trim so there's no solution left. Cutting out the side window, these are super easy. There is a slight curvature on these but not enough to warrant shrinking them. So it's just basically cut, lick and stick. Give the glass a clean and just squeegeeing the solution off getting into place. Now one of the struggles with these small windows is, and also because it's winter and it's freezing, is actually getting the film to stick. The initial squeegee usually moves the film, so there's a lot of moving, a lot of getting solution out before it actually tacks. Same again on the other side, just squeegeeing out the dirty solution uh, before applying the film. I like to let it drop at the top just so it doesn't touch the trim as not to get any contamination and then slide it. It seems to work really well for me. Again, just doing the soft squeegee just to get the bulk of the water out. Quite satisfying to watch from the outside. I never get to see it from this angle. Quick clean once again the exterior with Carchem's glass cleaner and a cloth. Take cut outside. Watch the ramp. Looks good. Looks good from here. No specs, no contamination. Now, I deliberately didn't do the brake light. It is a separate part to the rest of the window, but largely for safety reasons. Nice and clean install. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe on whichever platform you're happy to be watching this on. Thanks again.